Hello again, Ian Stick with Mastermind Games. Back with more Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress and the Traitor Commissar. Tan Skin 09044. So hopefully this one goes a little better than the last one, which was a very awkward video. I tried some new things to get the uh, issues I've been having under control, and I don't know that it worked out all that great. So. Again, tanned skin 09044. I'm going to do this on the uh, exposed parts of the body. So I'm still trying to beat uh, Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress. I keep getting my uh, teeth handed to me. <laughs> so, a lot of bad luck. Not just on dice rolls, but also on uh, legacy cards I've been getting. Alright, and then I will do his hand, I think. Hmm, he might be wearing a glove. Might be wearing a fingerless glove. I will, uh... If I decide he is, I'll be picking that out later. Alright, and then... Hmm. Let's go ahead and his pants, I think, so chaotic red. Now see, this, this is working a little better than the black background. I'm thinking a lot of my problem in the last video was just how dark that color scheme was. But, alright, let's just... the pants and the this belt here and then we have to get the wires going from his power fist to its power source so I have skimmed the fiction of all the expansions I'm not opening any of those uh, reward cards until I actually get through them but Looks like a specific regiment of the Imperial Guard wound up corrupted by chaos. A particularly noteworthy one. And then now I'm going to take, uh, yeah, we'll do the skull with a little creamy bone, 09143. Or no, yellowed bone, 09143. Went into a tainted building to clear it, came out corrupted, and joined up with Obsidious Malix, with the forces of Obsidious Malix on the Blackstone Fortress. So, again, spoiler comments are going to be delete, straight up deleted. I don't believe in that, but um, normally, but uh, I make an exception in this case because I want to beat this game right, and outside of time constraints I've had, it's... <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at this. I keep, uh, like I said, getting clobbered. All right. I'm going to leave that for now. Leave that for now, and then come back in a bit. All right. I'm trying something different again. So, excuse me. I did not intend to do that. Dark Elf Skin 09164. This is going to go on the boots, this cloth here, this belt here, and the coat. I'm going to make sure to get the lining as well, and then this is also going to go on the flag in a minute there. Okay, so he's got a little strap across his breastplate, which has been properly chaos defiled. Okay. 
Now, a previous game I used to have years and years ago was Hero Quest, which Games Workshop did the uh, models for. Now, unfortunately, my many of the components were lost because of siblings ripping it apart. So I can't actually play that anymore, so I was looking for a substitute for years. I was looking at uh, one of the other Warhammer box games, one of the Age of Sigmar related ones. And then about the time I was looking, Blackstone Fortress came out, and since I was already getting more heavily into Warhammer than any ever at any other point in my life, that just uh, sung out as being my uh, replacement. I like that it's co-op, and uh, well, it is the Battletoads of board games. Things can go really wrong really quick. <laughs> I've still got a few more sessions before I have to declare a game over, but you know, we'll see if I can uh, pull it off. <laughs> and in choosing such a dark color for the Commissar, you see the sculpted detail here. It's going to be lit up as well as some iconography I put on the banner. So I want it to be able to contrast with something much darker to make the lighting I'll do pop all the more. You know what, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with this bolt. You know what, yeah, I have decided. I'm going to do a two-color job here. We're going to do the same uh, gray as a start. Then put a second color on, or a second and third, because there's a little iconography on it. So, all right. I'm going to let that dry. And uh, keep filling in the uh, details here. All right. Let's see here. What metal color do I want? Tarnished steel zero nine two zero six. Yeah, we'll do this one right now. Zion's rusty spikes. And I am going to do them as uh, rusty when I get to them. A little shoulder armor here. And on the opposite. Do the power pack as well. And his power fist. I think this section of cabling right here. forgot. I wanted to do this uh, icon in silver too, on the bolt pistol. Oh, forgot again, there's a little uh, bit of chain down there. And I'm going to do this belt buckle in silver. Okay. Gray zero nine zero eight eight. Mm 
I'm just going to go on his frag grenade here. As well as some of the more functional aspects of his pistol. Hmm. I don't know if the ground gray is working out actually. I may have to uh, change that up a bit. And you know what, I think it is dark enough to work with. I think there's enough of a difference to work with. But just so. It'll look a little awkward, I guess. A little more steel on that point right there. And now, antique gold 09050. Get his breastplate. another belt, uh, another buckle right here I had missed. Let's do that real quick. Just take a quick uh, look over. Yeah, I think that's a god base coat, so I'm going to let that dry completely. <laughs> and then we going to start shooting. Oh boy, I am Still fighting this stupid blower issue. I will figure this out eventually. Alright, time to uh, shade. Where to start? Stained Ivory 09142. Look at the trophy skull. Thinning with one part water to one part paint into a wash and going over the base coat. And then Ancient Bronze 09049. Icon and the breastplate. Oh, the first on the breast, later on the breastplate, anyway. And then, Tanned Shadow 09043. We're we'll doing a secondary layer of shading on that as well. But. One step at a time. with one part water, one part paint. Okay. I'm gonna have to let that dry for now. So back in a bit. Okay. Next, matte black, and for particularly dark colors like this, you'll need two to three parts water to one part paint. At this point, I think I'm just going to roll with the uh, dark color to bolt pistol. I think I can make it work out reasonably well. Get this part and the grenade. It's a bit too dark, but I think I'll make it be able to make it work out in the end. And then let's see here. Isn't a 
couple different shaders. Of course, I'm going to use Scorched Metal 09125. That's going to go on the spikes on the back. And I think I'll put it on the shoulder armor as well. So, give a rusty look when I'm done. Steel 09205 will just drop. Okay, I'll put this camera try to focus again. If it will. I don't know if that works or not. This program on recording shows such a tiny image. It's barely a barely a tenth of my screen size and I've made it as big as the program will allow. So I've also got that going against because it's harder for me to tell what the image looks like. At least in terms of blur. How about this? I'm just going to go over the power pack, the power fist, and the uh, details on the pistol. So this is also going to be hit with a lighting effect as well when I, by the time I'm done. Alright. Now, you know what? I'm forgetting something kind of important. And that's the mouth. So I'm going to take Chaotic Red. Just fill that in. And I need to let that dry a bit before moving on. Good gravy. All right. Okay. Trying something new with the lighting again. Dark Elf Shadow, 09163. I'm at a point where I can only do a one color at a time. Let's see if I'm still focused. I don't... You know, again, I really can't tell when I'm focused or not, to be honest. I'm trying, but... the little image I have to work with, which is right behind me, is only, uh, like I said, maybe a sixth, maybe even a fifteenth the size of my screen, which isn't the biggest either, despite making it as big as I can. Alright, so go over the coat real careful, like, and it definitely doesn't help that the only configuration I can do this in is to have my monitor directly behind me. Having it in my field of vision would be better, but this is the configuration I've got because of the space I have at home. all of that uh, other dark color. Get the uh, coating on the bolt, bolt pistol, but coating cover here. I don't know what to call this exact part. It's just a piece of the weapon that is usually a bright or secondary color. And 
that rumbling you may or may not hear is a thunderstorm going on right now, so. I don't expect it to knock out my power, because that hasn't happened from a thunderstorm in a long time, but it's a possibility. We'll just see. It's pretty mild right now. All right, and that gets that color. That's just going to leave the red and some secondary shading on the skin and go from there. Boy, it's just... I'm trying, but it's not playing very nice with me. Okay. Red brick, 09001. dry and then I've got some lighting and one more bit of shading I want to do. So back in a bit. Alright, it's actually dawned on me, I'm just waking up, that I can do prep work for the lighting effects right now while this red dries, so we'll just take care of that right now. So taking Mount White, I'm first going to uh, draw the symbols I want here. And I'm just making up some uh, runic looking thing for the flag. Using very little water. The other side will have different runes. And I'm just kind of making freehanding all this, just literally making something up. And now thinning it to almost a wash. I'm going to go over the uh, breastplate here and you see as I fill this in the uh, white that this uh, pattern, this eight point star has been carved into it. lit up when I'm done and then doing the same thing back here with uh, the coat and I'm gonna fill in the deliberate uh, desecration here and if this goes past the borders a bit that's fine I'm prepping this now because the last layer of shading I'm going to do is identical to the lighting color. So I'm going to do them both at once. And then, because I've done this on all my other power fists, we'll give it some lighting as well. And it looks like this fist has some uh, chaos desecration I didn't notice before. Make sure that room gets done and just kind of doing this like a wash going around the 
fingers and joints. Making sure I get, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Now, once all this dries, I can do the lighting and the last bit of shading I want to do. Then I can highlight in detail. All right. Last shade. Well, shade and lighting. Vampire red is the war paints color. Yeah, I'm playing through Blackstone Fortress as I uh, wait on paint to dry. And uh, <laughs> one of my first legacy card draws was uh, Obsidious Malix. So uh, he has been showing up. Uh, I've had the bad luck to have him show up really early. So I'm on the first encounter of an expedition and he's already um, <laughs> beat the hell out of me all right gotta thin this out just a little more we're gonna go over the face here yeah kind of give him a bit of a freddy krueger look and that's fine i'm still gonna do his uh eyes normally he also has some scarring on his face now. I'm going to carefully and try to confine this to just the uh, symbol. Need a little more than that. Just go over the breastplate here and try to make that stand out. On a power fist, going over the I'm going a hateful chaos red. Just going over the Knuckles on the power fist. The insignia on the back. The coat. We'll just go over the, uh, going over the, uh, flag here, mostly getting, just kind of giving a thin glaze that will really stand out on the iconography. I want this, uh, I want it to appear as if the rooms are actually glowing. I think I'm going to muddy this up somewhat. Well, we'll just uh, see what it looks like when I'm done. This is experimentation for me as well, so, all right. Oh, well, that's got the lighting, so... Once that dries, I, uh, I don't know what. Gonna light up the eyes on the skull here, too, just put a little bit in there. Soak up some of that excess. Okay. Let that dry completely, then I can uh, move on. Right. Seems I need a little more red on the, red on the head, because it's not uh, keeping like I would like. Alright, there we go. Uh, Alright, well, my experiment lighting isn't working any better than the last thing I tried, so we'll try something else. Alright, so it looks like my experiment on the flag didn't work out. That's fine. There's a way to work around that. So, start some details with matte white. very carefully This is up. Here we are. 
just enough water to thin the paint. pupils and I'm trying to and some of that red is still not dry yet so I'm gonna have to just wait a bit longer okay that's fine so we'll just wait a bit come back in a second I'm going to figure out this blur thing I really am it's just gonna take time okay Time to highlight. Start with the skin. And highlight 09045. Ragged feathered brush, something like this. Something like that. Straight paint, no water. Rubbing most of it out on the paper towel until it looks like there's nothing left. And lightly dust the area to be affected, making sure I go across any uh, raised areas. Okay, yeah, this... Uh, I was hoping that this would make the, uh, the shade of red would make the commissar look a little uh, burnt, but actually it looks quite a bit like Freddy Krueger. That's actually uh, good, I think. Alright, next I want to do Vampire Red. It's going to go on the pants, one of the belts, and the cave one. Yep. We'll figure this uh, out eventually. I will. It's just going to take time. Dark Elf Highlights, 09165. So I'm probably just going to have to do something different on the iconography on the flag because it didn't turn out cl even close to what I was hoping for. That's okay. It was an experiment, and not all experiments succeed. In fact, I would uh, go so far as to say most experiments actually fail, and you just gotta keep building up and trying again and again until you get it right. So I'll do a sort of detail on the flag once I'm done highlighting. It's just really, really fighting me on this focus thing. It's new gold, 09051. Want to get this right. 
But it's all right. Just keep trying till I get it right. We're in the age of the internet as well, so plenty of criticism, but practical advice is somewhat hard to find. And then uniform gray. Don't need a whole lot of this at all because this is only going on. Come on, focus. I'm going to go on the grenade and pieces of the pistol. Next, I think order of operation is important. Oh, I forgot to do the uh, secondary color on the uh, pistol, so we'll do that real quick. Eh, kind of subtle, but uh, that's I'm just going to roll with it at this point. True silver zero nine two zero seven. Actually, I think this is the last one you need to do. Nope, second to last, I still got a skull. holding his banner and trophy. Cabling. That had way too much paint in it. I'm going to shine it up, but I don't want to uh, cover up the red lighting on the iconography or the power field that this is generating. Creamy Ivory, 09144. Four. It's clogged, so I'm getting a paper clip because the other one is getting a little messed up to keep using. Clear that. Take a detailed brush I'm using that vampire red and just enough to um, thin the paint, just enough water to thin the paint. I'm just gonna trace over my rooms and just fix them that way. Switch to a flathead brush. That one's fine. Take some more matte black. This is. I will fix this blur because I'll keep trying different things until I get it right. Gotta make a run to an art supply store for some stuff, so maybe there's something there I can use. So using the matte black and the flathead, I'm just gonna or flat brush. I'm just going to go around and 
line the edge of the base, being careful where the feet are, and that will give me just a nice finish. And then once this all dries up completely, I can go over it with some base material. And back in a minute, and we'll just try some more experimenting, see if I can fix the focus. Okay, basing. White glue. And the water. Right. Mix that all up. Now I should be, uh, I think, forgetting a step. I need to get my basic material out, which is, uh, some fine, medium, and coarse, which is no rock debris. Gonna paint around the feet, the base here. away from the edge with just my thumb here. I'm going to take a different brush that's dry and just push this away from where I don't want it. This isn't too bad, but I think I need to touch this up a little bit right here. I think I need some more uh, fine of the mix here. Yeah, I need to so I'm gonna just push this away a bit. I need to let that set for a while, at least 20 to 30 minutes, depending on heat and humidity. Then I can seal it and finish up, so back in a bit. Okay, final step. Scenic cement. It's a Woodland Scenics product. Glass eyedropper. This stuff bonds to plastic quickly. I trip that into the uh, basic material. I've given this actually about an hour to dry. I ended that Blackstone Fortress expedition with about halfway through, but got enough clue cards and archaeotech to have a pretty good go again at another stronghold run. We'll see how that goes. And... That is the uh, Trader Commissar. Oh, come on, focus. All right, getting the other half of the set next time. Until then, I am Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, signing out.